We discussed playing a 9 hole game while walking the 10th fairway. We had just played a 3 hour first 9, stuck behind a family of 4 who thought they owned the course. What a day! We join the action as we are both putting for birdie on the 10th. What a player! Shot. Oi! You can knock, laugh. Okay, I'm going to lie, ha. That's the swing. Diddy knows his distances to the yard. He has a small arsenal of shots he has massive confidence in. The 200 to 220 yard drive with a fade. The 195 yard 3 wood. The 185 yard 5 wood. The greenside chip. The pitch from 50 yards. Putting. His secret weapon is knowing how far all his clubs go and how the ball will fly on each shot. He has toppled giants in the Bangkok golf scene, breaking their character with his consistency and his poetic swing.
looks good. Ahoy! Oh, what a shot. What a shot. What is that? 200 with a 5 wood? 5 wood. My short game was suffering around this time because I had only been working on two things. My wedges inside 110 yards and my new Epic driver. The Epic went well today, set to 10 degrees with the draw bias. Especially good considering it was my second round with it. I broke my tailor-made R9 from other videos. More on the improved wedges later on. I've been hitting a lot more wedges and iron stiff thanks to a video by Scratch Golf. Link in the description and end of the video. I don't actually do the no look hitting at the range like in the video, but what I took out of this video is this. 1. Relax and enjoy the feeling of being relaxed on the course. 2. Let the club head do the work, just release tension. 3. Feel the club's head's weight, don't fight against it. This has helped me improve my wedge game in a way I can't describe. No mechanics, just relaxation and trust in the swing and the club. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you got that. Sit now. You, you hit that too well. Volvic vivid time again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. 
it's safe. Super safe. Even though I hit it 50 to 70 yards longer than him off the tee, does Diddy care? What a player. That's why he's known as Mr. Idgaff. Sorry, Gaddis. Never do this, players. If your putter is working, don't try another one. I found this one in the shaft fitter studio when I bought my Epic driver. I loved it as soon as I touched it and shot 72 with it the next day. After that, it went ice cold and I'm in limbo between this one and my usual Cleveland classic. Cleveland, my wife. PRGR, my mistress that won't leave me alone. Oh, I need a white high, Lou, too, man.